to that upper left one to the left. Looks like there's a couple of that so purple much to zoom on there. there. One. Yeah, if you yeah. can zoom on the corals quickly before right. you do the sound, so you can be break great. that that he's standing on. Yeah, right. Beautiful there. coral. Okay, coral thank you. And if you could zoom out and maybe do a quick zoom on the orange one as well, please. Okay. Is it just me, or, or is there a slight shimmering in the water? There's a lot of little things. There's a around. current. Yeah. And some of it is us. That's great. Thanks, video. Once Thanks, we Greg. Sit tight. There's a big coral too. I wonder what those white dots are on the coral. Oh, this video push in. We're gonna look at the white dots. Yeah, quick opportunistic zoom. Gastropods. Tiny gastropods. gastropods. That's great. Well, one of them is actually a hermit crab, I think. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> bite crabs. All right. Thanks, guys. Can we get a quick zoom on that coral? Or are we moving too quick? It's slightly different to what we have been seeing. Video yeah, it definitely looks more red than the previous kind of orangey brown corals. Hold there. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, this is a little bit shallow for my field. I don't usually dabble in the area which daylight reaches. <laughs> wow. Love all these colors. That's pretty incredible. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. That is a desktop screensaver if I've ever seen one. I think they're jewel anemones, maybe? Hold Let's there. I don't know. Beautiful. Oh. Gorgeous. There's loads of those bivalves as well in between all the little... <laughs> Just found my Straight new computer background. <laughs> it's really pretty. It is. It's incredible. It's amazing how they get so concentrated on just one rock, you know, or one formation. All fighting for the best bit of uh, mm -hmm. location on the rock. So the genus Corianactus. Thanks for that, Meredith. Beautiful. I don't know what we do this dive without all of our scientists ashore. Sitting no, I don't know what we do either. Info. It's been fantastic. Hey, so <laughs> we've got in. so much elevation. That's a black coral. And this is a black coral? Yeah. Believe it or not. Wow. I only see them when they're red. I've never seen one that's that far. These are uh, CITES, right? Protected? Yes. All, all black corals are, are protected against international shipping and trade because People will uh, uh, have carved these and yep. your shots. make jewelry out of those. Yes. Yeah, frame grabs, please. We have fish living in there. If you want frame grabs, let me go in and zoom, get critical focus. Yeah. Zooming in. So those lasers are 10 centimeters. I put this colony maybe around You're moving closer, aren't a meter you? tall. Coming out. That's great. This is very helpful. Thank you. I see more cat shark egg cases tucked in there. All right, now's the time to take the grab. Got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Easily a hundred year old coral here. Time, really. This is one of the kind of octocorals that we expect to see in, at this depth. How neat. They're pretty common. Range uh, all the way from Southern California up to Alaska and occur actually all over the world. Terrific. That's beautiful. So if, ever, if you look closely, folks, these polyps have eight tentacles on them. That's what identifies them as an octocoral. And they also have these uh, kind of little hairs on each of the tentacles. We call those pinules. And that's what helps them capture these small particles of food in the water column. All right. Beautiful. I see some amphipods there hanging out in the polyps on the right. Uh, you want to turn off porch light real quick? Okay. Now, Greg. Right. So uh, that's going into flush one. Okay. Uh, do you want to do flush one? That's one of the finer meshes. Yes, please. Drag it okay. over. We have uh, an octopus sighting. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Slurpable. <laughs> Huggable. <laughs> you ever hugged an octopus? <laughs> Never hugged an octopus. Have slurped some octopus. <laughs> I'll bet they'd hug you back. <laughs> I got into a fight with one off of uh, the coast of Canada over a blue bungee. Oh, that was uh, you on the other end of the tug of war. Yeah. Didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah. he grabbed onto the predator arm. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know what type of octopus this is? I think it's the eight-legged kind. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a, we have a winner. <laughs> We've got an octopus and an octocoral all in the same shot. Video, let's push in. Okay, just gonna go full focus. 
and then I'll back out. Wow. That's a cool coral. Do we know what type of corals those are? Is this another black coral? Very cool. It's a black coral because of the, uh, you can see the black spine on the inside. And that's another and one. That's where they get their names from the skeleton. Oh. Ah. Again, here you can see the skeleton see here. Wow. Oh yeah, that's so cool. So the, the black coral gets its name from that black skeleton. So even though it looks pink, it's still a black coral because of the black skeleton. Yeah, the way skeleton. Know is from jewelry. Ah. Okay. All right, so this is often used for jewelry. Oh, cool. Full wide of video on Argus too. And this is wow, a look at all the associates it. on that one. Yeah, <laughs> can we sit down in front yeah. of that one? It's a party on that one. <laughs> Looks like he's got a bunch of freeloaders. If we see this one again, either of these two again, we definitely want to sample these. Okay. We'll keep an eye out. Thank you. All right, video, let's come full wide. It's a pretty color on that one. It sure is. Wow. So th this is not the same as the other two or any of the others we've seen. All right. Yeah, I think we've seen as many species here in 15 minutes as we saw in a couple hours. On wow. on the Central Canyon. You said this was an octocoral? Yeah, this is definitely an octocoral. You can see each of the polyps here has eight little tentacles. It's feeding. Yeah. And uh, this is what I think it is. It would have a very hard calcitic skeleton, kind of like those uh, bamboo corals. And these are the precious corals that I was telling you right. um, they made jewelry out of uh, mm. back in the day. Hey, Lee, would you mind looking at high pack real you quick? You want to zoom in on yeah, that? Yeah, of course. Zoom out. Um, on Go this in ridge zoom in. here. Why don't we just this make... This right here? Yeah, yeah. Why don't we just make our way up that? Okay. Oh, that's beautiful, that shot. Yeah. Oh, can you see that stalked anemone in the top right-hand yeah. corner? We actually got a sample of that the other day. Did we? Yeah, I think we had one of those. Coming out. That's great. Thanks, guys. And generally, Michael, if we uh, set down to uh, image something and we're facing up current, it's uh, helpful, more helpful. Okay. That's full zoom in focus. Let me change my levels a little. So you can see why the uh, brittle star that's associated with it is called the snake star, or snake brittle star. I didn't know anemones associated with it. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Roger, coming. <laughs> I got this little joystick here, and it's begging to be used. <laughs> it almost looks like a, it's a basket star on there. It looks like one. No, this is one of those snake, uh, snake opioids. Oh, we got a little well. Is it a welk or a gastropod? Oh that's my. a gastropod. Just gastropods. Yeah, just a little. It's gonna be a oh, he's doing the flip. What it? Wow. What oh, is that? Wow. <laughs> so that's how those gastropods move then. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. Yeah. That's great. See, I always get nervous and I get scared. Zoom when you guys are ready. Oh, mm. zoom. Coming in. Go ahead and zoom. So can you see what I mean about the anemones? There's those three anemones wow, that have stripped. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've stripped the polyps off. Lee, you're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just looked a lot of deep sea footage over the past year. My little bivalve open in so the back there. The, the way we should know this is a bamboo coral is you can just see, just down from the top center, can you see there's a little brown mark on the stalk? It's actually a different type of organic node, so they'll be formed all the way up yeah. the coral. And there was one there, and there probably There's likely one. be one at the base as well. We can see them here, the banding. Can you see the band? Sorry. Yeah. So not on that guy, though. And that's a primnoid uh, there in the back. Is that the brittle star's stomach that we see? Uh, no, that's actually oh. it's just its oral disc. Oh, okay. So it's just got quite a, like an ornate oral disc on it with quite pronounced striations. The other side should be its stomach, correct? Yeah, the other side is where its, uh, its stomach and its mouth will be. Can I have a look at the polyps and see what's, try and ascertain what species it is, and also see what size it is as well. Nice. So, Lee, if you um, look on the left side, there's one polyp kind of sticking up more than the others. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. I can see all eight yeah. of those. I'm not doubting it's an octocoral. I'm just wondering what 
family of octocorals. Yeah. So we're oh, here, let me give you the uh, base. Ooh, what is that? That's that squat. looks exciting. Yeah, can you just look on the oh, right-hand side right. before we lift off? Yeah, it looks like can some you see the stringy thing, form Mike? of a stat. Yeah, that guy. Oh, what right there that? to the yeah. right of it. Let me have a look at that. Neo. That's an anemone. The uh, brittle stars don't seem to be adverse to it. No. no. It's like one of those things we Can saw we floating off the bottom the no, other day. I don't think it's a siphonophore. If you could get, have you got any more zoom? Or are we max in? That is max zoom. Max. I can get you the lasers though, uh, Kelsey. Yeah. Cool. I got it. No, I didn't as well. Oh, got it, got it. He has got eggs. Oh, yeah, whoa. it's a brooding little shrimp. We can see um, some of the branches don't look quite as healthy. There's some sediment um, on the branches on the upper left. Fairly healthy coral, though, in general. Clean coral, happy coral. Can you zoom? I can oh, zoom, Monarch. Yeah, go for it now. Right. Both? I can do both. Watch me. Well, this is there's a lot of current that probably comes up here over this ridge. Video highlight. It's the most coral there I've it is. ever Video seen. Video highlight log. Got it. Yeah. Octopus friend. And a grenadier in the back. What is it? A huge grenadier. Yeah, that thing is big. Oh, that's a chimera. It's a huge chimera, yeah. Oh, chimera? Oh, man. That is cool. Wow. What's up, dude? Let's zoom on that bamboo core right there in the middle. Beautiful. And some of those, the stalks on that are, you know, like three centimeters. Yeah. They're pretty big. Yep. Oh, look, and there's bubblegum coral behind it. Four inches All kinds of stuff. Oh. Is that bubblegum coral, or that's, what is that? Yeah, that's bubblegum coral paragorgia. And you can see uh, some of the polyps are excerpt or out feeding and others are retracted so they can hide from a predator like a sea star but the bamboo corals can't retract those polyps so they're vulnerable this is gonocephalus yeah gorgonocephalus or gonocephalus yeah look at that video pushing hold okay this is Whoa. the first time i've seen these hipposterious spinosa species eating a primnoid coral. They're usually up on bamboo coral. Somebody asked that before. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it looks like... Uh, it's coming full wide. I'm going to get a better position. ...wide variety of prey. And as we approach and zoom in on this, you'll be able to s see how sea stars feed. They're not plucking food and putting it in their stomach. They just eviscerate their stomach and wrap it around the coral and digest the polyps. Where I've seen it before, there was kind of a light pink gelatinous mass in there. Maybe he's getting ready, or he just finished. Yeah. He's just uh, sitting on the couch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not seeing it. Oh, there's it two. brought a friend. There's two. <laughs> Listen to us. One of us is a fish whisperer. I know you guys talk about wavelengths of light before when we talk about corals, but I mean, just that when the light shines on the rocks down here and the, and the different coral species, the colors are so beautiful. They're so beautiful, and it's so interesting because, um, you know, it's just the coral themselves. It's not their symbiotic Susan Thelly like in the shallow waters where those corals are just white without them. Um, it's right. the actual coral themselves, which is so interesting. They just have the pigmentation yeah, in them. Yeah, I don't them. know if it really serves a purpose or not. Um, well, I think, you know, I mean, when you look at how light attenuates through the water, the, the, the red wavelengths are shorter, and they tend to be absorbed first by the water. And so I'm sure with the lights not shining on them, that it's more cryptic. They probably blend yeah. in pretty well with the environments. It is a similar, I think, strategy that rockfish and other yeah, organisms yeah, use in the, the deeper red. waters. Yeah, yeah, there is a lot of red down here. Mm -hmm. I thought about that. Great Argus shot. This is the lounge. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Spider crabs. The list goes on. Oh, is that a white black? Oh, no. It's a primnoid. I'm getting too excited. 
to hold me back, otherwise we'll move like 10 centimeters in an hour. Because I'll just be like, can we zoom, can we zoom, can we zoom? Hercules always looks like this curious little I'm just going to do a little push here past your instruments if I can, Mike. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, that's a nice shot. The diversity here is incredible. There's so much And the abundance is just mad. It's crazy. Have we got a ship move plugged in? Yes. Are we yes. waiting? Yeah, Are we just, just waiting, waiting for the effects of it? Exactly. Okay. Yes. Great. Get going. Nice flying. Thanks, Mike. Yep, no worries. It was fun. <laughs> Go ahead, Bridge. I think you have the best job, Mike. I'm kind of jealous. Thank you. <laughs> it looks happy. <laughs> Yeah, it looks very similar. Yeah. It's certainly healthy. Yeah, that's the same yeah. shot. This looks exactly the same. Same so shot, yeah. Get a few of these, right? Yep. Yep, I'll just keep taking screen grabs. So these frame grab images help us nice to track focus. the health and condition of this uh, Lophelia good. coral aggregation. This well done. Uh, this is like growing in an extremely acidic environment. Better than her dad. <laughs> to where it is and elsewhere. I'm sorry I'm bouncy, but I have a really funky current to my back. Oh, wow, so many you go to. Yeah, so you, you know, go Ian, I'm looking at this. I'm thinking this is actually maybe a good photo mosaic target. Yeah. I like the color. Me too. And Are the fish going to be a problem? Oh, certainly. <laughs> Just tell him to stand still. Do you like it? Stop swimming for a minute. Around, <laughs> kind of While well we away. image you. <laughs> what were the orange ones? The be? orange ones are Adelo Gorgia, like the singer, Adele. <laughs> Adelo Gorgia. White Agus. And then the uh, purple ones are EU Gorgia. Gorgia. EU Gorgia. Hello from the coral side. <laughs> oh. uh, Rolling in the deep. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Beautiful shot video. You can see all these polyps out, straining food from the water column. Let's hold that. Wow. That is gorgeous. You gorgeous. You gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> ah, I like it. <laughs> oh, that's you always learn new things in Bah. <laughs> on the Nautilus. That sounds like a deep sea Valentine's Day call. Yeah. What a charmer. <laughs> deep, deep, deep sea pickup lines. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not getting a whole lot of interest from our uh, geologists, so I'm feeling that we should return.